Good day, brethren. You are welcome to RCCG New Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by Father and the Lord, the General Vassal of the Dream Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboy. And I pray that as you join me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, October 20, 2024, we are looking at the topic, The Challenges of Success, Part 2. Our members is taken from Proverbs 14, verse 20, which says, The poor is hated even of his own neighbor but the rich art many friends. Our text is taken from Proverbs 19, from verses 4 to 7, which says, Wealth maketh many friends, but the poor is separated from his neighbor. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Many will tr- entreat the favor of the prince, and every man is a friend to him that giveth gifts. All the brethren of the poor do hate him. How much more do, the fr- do his friends go far from him? He persuade them with words, yet they are wanting to him. Yesterday, I started sharing about the challenges of success, and I focused on pride. That's according to our Father and Lord. Today, I'll look at another major challenge of success, which is the fact that everybody wants to be friends with the successful. When you are successful, you will have many people around you, and it will be difficult to tell those that have good intentions apart from those that do not. The main fact that you are the top will attract many friends to you. This is why you must be careful to put your trust in God and not man. Some people will do everything to work their way into your heart just because of what they want to get from you. You will need the gift of discernment of spirits to know those who are genuine and those who are not. So yesterday we looked at pride as a challenge of success. Today we are looking at the fact that everybody always wants to associate with successful people. If, for example, you are announced as you know somebody or uh, someone who has achieved something in your field or in your place of work or nationally or globally, before you know it, everyone wants to associate with you. Lots of people will come around you. They want to be part of your story. And most people are coming around you because of what they can get from you. Either they want to use your reputation to leverage their own reputation or to you know leverage something in their own lives. There are people who come just because they want to use you or what you have or what you have achieved to move forward in life. And we need to have a discernment of spirit, the gift of discernment of spirit, to know what people's true intentions are. Many people will come around you when you are successful, but not all of them have good intentions for you. In Second Samuel 13, 4-5, Jonadab advised Prince Ammon like he really cared about him. Ammon went ahead and did as he advised. When the repercussion of that evil counsel came, Jonadab did not rise up to defend his friend. He was the one who went to announce Ammon's death to David in 2 Samuel 13, 32-33. He told the king, let the king cheer up, for Ammon only is dead. If Ammon had been wise, he would have seen earlier that Jonadab was not a real friend. Real friends will not always say yes to your desires. Sometimes they will say no because they care about you. When you have people who never tell you their truth and who will keep supporting you, even when you are clearly going the wrong way, run from such people. So we see fake friends like Jonadab who advised Prince Ammon uh, to commit incest with his sister Tama. And then when the repercussion of that action came, Jonadab was the one that even went to announce to King David that his son had died and even told him to be cheerful that only Ammon, whom he had advised to take the action, was dead. So you could see that Jonadab was only friends with Ammon because Ammon was a prince, was in the royal family. It was not because he truly loved Ammon. So we need to be very careful. Some people have ulterior motives for wanting to be friends with you when you become successful. We need to be very, very careful of such people. We need to be able to identify them and we need to be careful of such people. And our father and Lord is also making an important point that you need friends around you that will be able to tell you the truth tell you no when you're about to take a wrong action, uh, tell you, call you to order when you are doing something wrong. Not people that will just be saying yes to you because they want to get something out of you. Those people are dangerous and they are not your friends. The higher you go, the more careful you have to become in choosing the kind of people you allow into your life. If you are trying not to be lonely as you go higher and you keep many friends, you will end up having many with negative intentions around you. You should have few fewer friends as you go higher. Not because you don't like being friendly, but because you will discover that most people care more about what you can give them than who you are to them. As a result, your circle of friends should become really small as you advance in life. 
For example, I, ha I had more friends when I was not yet general overseer than I have now. So see our father-in-law is saying that the higher you go, the more careful you should be. You should actually have a smaller, tight-knit circle. It's not that you don't relate to people. It's not that you don't have interactions with people. But your inner circle, the people who have access to you, the people who have access to your inner life, who have access to your secrets, should be very small. Because if you are not careful, if you are too dependent on people, you like to bring people to yourself too much, you bring in the wrong crowd, you bring in the wrong people, you bring in fake friends, and those, those people can ruin you and ruin your life. So you need to have a small circle of few friends the more you are going on. People that you can trust, people that you know that they can stand by you when the chips are down, people that can advise you and they are not carried away by your success. And as Father Lord is saying, he even has fewer friends now as General Vasia than he used to have before he became General Vasia. So, beloved, I pray that God will give you the grace to discern between those who are really your friends and those who are wolves in sheep clothing. And I pray that God will grant us that spirit of discernment, that gift of discernment, so that we can discern between fake and real friends in Jesus' name. Our prayer point says, Father, please give me the gift of discernment of spirits so that I can know who are my real friends and those who are not. Let us pray. Father, I want to thank you for your word to us today. Thank you because you know you have our best interest at heart. We ask, Lord, that you please separate us from fake friends in Jesus' name. Give us the gift of discernment so that we can discern people who are our real friends and those who are not in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Help us to achieve success and help us, Lord, that the people around us will not bring us down in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.